get you some. Oh, yeah. Mate, it's lucky she can cook. Wow! G'day lovelies and welcome back. Alrighty, today we are doing chicken and corn pinwheels. First thing we need to do is preheat our ovens at 200 degrees Celsius. We need to get out a couple of baking trays with some baking paper. If you've only got one, you can just cook them one at a time. I'll write the recipe below as always. All right, we're gonna need three sheets of frozen puff pastry, 500 grams of chicken mince, half a cup of frozen corn thawed, one small carrot grated. We need quarter of a cup of grated tasty cheese, quarter of a cup of finely grated parmesan, now, I know heaps of you always say to me, oh, parmesan, it stinks and that, in the little green tub, oh, yeah. But if you get the fresh parmesan, I promise you, it doesn't smell like dirty socks. And one spring onion sliced nice and thin. Into a large bowl, we want to put our 500 grams of chicken mince. We want to put our half a cup of corn kernels, our small grated carrot, quarter of a cup of the tasty cheese, and quarter of a cup of the finely grated parmesan. Our one spring onion, sliced nice and thin. With a fork, I'm gonna mix it in really well together. Got it mixed in really well, just flatten it out. And then we want to attempt to divide it into three. All right, we'll chuck that in the fridge for five minutes. Now we wanna get out three sheets of puff pastry and thaw them out. All right, when they thaw it out, turn it over. Take the back off. Now we want to put one third of the chicken mix on there and we want to spread it all over. So I'll just use the back of the fork and just try to spread it out evenly. Okay, then we want to pick it up, fold it over and roll it. I'll just show you on one. Now I left just a little bit on the edge there just to hopefully it will stick. So I'm just going to cut the tiniest bit of the edges off because it's all dry. And then we want to slice it into eight. So I'll just go... through the middle, cut them in half. I never get it exactly right. And then cut them all in half again. Place them on our tray on us on their sides. So that's one. So now I'll make the next one and half of the next one, the four pieces will go here. As soon as our first tray is ready, bang them in the oven. Oh, they smell amazing. 38 minutes later in my electric oven. Oh, these are so yummy with their like beautiful crusty bottoms and that on them. Oh, oh, oh. All right, so you can eat them hot. Now, you can let them go cold. Once they're completely cold, if you put them in an airtight container and store them in the fridge, you'll have them for three days, no worries. So for three days in a row, you can dump them in the kids' lunch boxes. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Have yourselves an awesome night, and I'll see you soon. Toodles!